Hello everyone, welcome back to CSS Snippets. I'm Chandni. In today's video, I'll show you how to use the CSS transition property to make your website animations smoother and more engaging. CSS transition, let's look at some websites that use transitions to create attractive and smooth animations. Using CSS transitions can bring your websites to life by adding smooth and engaging animations. They enhance the user experience by making your site look more dynamic and interactive. CSS transitions allow changes in property values to occur gradually over a specified duration. Without transitions, any change in a property would take effect immediately. Stay tuned as we break down everything you need to know to master this powerful CSS property. To create a transition, we first need a component that changes a property. Here, we have a box with a hover state. When we hover on it, the width will change. But the hover effect happens immediately, which isn't how things change in the real world. So, we can use the transition property to make this change smoothly. Now we apply the transition property, transition duration, transition timing function, and transition delay. Transition property defines which property the transition effect should apply to in our hover state. Here, we are only using the width property. Transition duration defines how long the transition effect should take to complete. You can set it in milliseconds or seconds. If you set the duration to two seconds and then hover over the box, it takes two seconds to complete one cycle. If you set it to five seconds, it takes five seconds to complete one cycle. This allows you to control the duration speed. Transition timing function defines how the intermediate states of the transition are calculated. It sets the speed curve of the transition effect, making it smoother or more abrupt. The common values for the timing function are ease, ease in, ease in out, ease out, linear, steps and cubic Bezier. The default value is ease, ease. It starts slow, then speeds up in the middle and slows down at the end. It is perfect for smooth, natural transitions. Ease in. It starts slow, then speeds up at the end. Great for effects that need to build momentum, like elements coming into view. Ease in out. It starts slow, then speeds up in the middle, and slows down again at the end. It is ideal for balanced or natural animations. Ease out. It starts fast, then slows down at the end. It works well for effects where elements should come to a gentle stop like fading out. Linear. It maintains constant speed from start to finish. It is best for uniform speed transitions. Steps. If you need to, creates a step-by-step -step transition instead of a smooth one. It is useful for frame-by-frame -frame animations. Cubic Bezier. It allows to create a custom path for your element using four control points, X1, Y1, X2, Y2. You can use it for advanced custom effects and controlling animation speed. If you don't know how to find these four values, you can go to cubicbezier.com. Here you can create and preview cubic bezier curves. You can also compare these curves with other timing function curves. But if you want to create a custom timing function curve for ease, ease in, ease in out, ease out, or linear, you can inspect your output timing function and change the curve values according to your preference. It's a great way to create custom timing curves. The transition delay defines the wait time before the transition takes effect. You can set it in milliseconds or seconds. The default value is zero seconds. Now if you add any property in the hover state, you can smoothly transition it by adding it to the transition property. Here we can add the transform property. We can use the shorthand property for transition. In the transition property, we can set the same values that we passed in our four properties in the same order. We see it's still working perfectly. Sometimes you might have more than one property changing. For example, on hover, you might want the background color to change. Add this other property inside the transition property, using a comma to separate the different properties. I want to animate the background color property with a two-second duration. Now, when we hover over the box, everything is being animated smoothly. This is best when you have multiple properties with different timing functions and durations. But what if you have different properties with the same duration, timing function, and delay? In those cases, instead of defining each property individually, you can use the all keyword. This way, every property will have the transition effect applied to it.